and happy Thursday. We are in the car, we're driving. Tim is driving, there he is. So I don't know if you guys remember or saw the video, but a few weeks back, um, I think it was a couple weeks ago, Tim did our very first um, Adventures Around World Showcase video where we're gonna do kind of like the tours that we do at the hotels around Disney and Universal, but we're gonna do an in-depth tour of each of the World Showcase pavilions, each of the countries. So when we did that, when he did that video, he said he wanted to make a reservation at La Hacienda, which was one of the restaurants in the Mexico Pavilion that he didn't even realize was there. I didn't know it was there either until I was editing the video. And when he came home, he did, he made a reservation. So today is the day where we're gonna eat there at La Hacienda. And I think we're gonna watch the fireworks. Yeah, our reservation's at eight and Illuminations is at nine. So hopefully we will be able to get a window seat. Like I'm gonna ask for a window seat, which I don't think they guarantee, but Maybe, I don't know. I think it just depends on how long you wanna wait. So most of those people that are in the window seats are probably gonna be camping and like waiting for the fireworks, I would imagine. Yeah. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Cause we thought about making a reservation at 8.30 and then we thought no, cause if fireworks are at nine, we'll for sure not get a window seat and we'll miss the fireworks. Cause I imagine at 8.30 those people would be camped out for sure. So yeah. we think eight is the magic number, but we'll let you know, we'll let you know if that's what worked in today's video. I wanted to give you guys a pro tip. If you are driving underneath these arches on Osceola Parkway, try to be in this kind of towards the center because all the lanes to the right there and... This is where we keep our dirt. Hmm? <laughs> what are they doing? That's the exit ramp for a wide world of sports, I think. Oh. You can see it kind of wrap around over here to the left. Weird. When will they ever be done with this? I don't know. Hey, Tim. What? Who's the most beautiful girl in school? The Epcot ball. <laughs> what? I mean you. No, it's you. It's definitely you. <laughs> I mean, it's the monorail. <laughs> so here in Florida, one of the things that you have to understand is heat, in, heat index. Oh yeah, it's, so, kinda, it's like the, the chill factor. Oh yeah. But like the opposite, it's the hot one. So like during the day today, it was 90 degrees. That's what the forecast said, that's what the like the the television would say, the weatherman would say. Wait, I saw something where one of the weather people said it was gonna be 108. Yeah, with the heat index. Is that today? Yeah. Whoa. That's... Was it that hot? Yeah. You were outside. I know, it was hot. It feels like it's gonna be a nice and light night tonight. Well, we're here pretty late. I know, this is good. Yeah, we should come late more often. Oh no, it's so tiring. Oh. <laughs> I wake up at like 4 a.m. because I'm an old man oh, no. and my body alarm makes me wake up early. All night, pull it all night. Oh yeah, this is quite the shot right here. Oh, and there's an airplane. Look, 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 Where? right there, do you see it? Oh no, you can't see it. Oh yeah, it. there it is, way up there. There's one up there. I don't wow. know if we can show it, but I think the I think the Epcot people have new costumes. Yeah, like, like at the at, front gate here. At the turnstiles, yeah, they have these cool, like their spaceship earths all over their shirts. They're really neat, and they have cool hats. Yeah. I like it. I always love this shot at Spaceship Earth. Here's something that I don't think I've ever looked in is the art of Disney and out front there's a Mickey and Minnie in their retro Epcot spaceship costumes. I'm gonna actually put a picture in right here of me meeting that Mickey when I was a little baby. Well, I was not a little, I was probably five, but here it is. Oh, so it's basically just like a giant art store. Ooh, I like all the artwork in here. This is pretty neat. Maybe we will be able to get a window seat because it feels like there's nobody at Epcot right now. But it was hard to get this reservation, remember? Yeah. So love it. I don't know. You guys know I love cutting through mouse gear because we always like to see what's new for sale. Hey, Jen. You know what I say about this shirt? What? Oh, boy. Halloween is starting now. <laughs> You could buy your own Jack Skellington uh, costume. It That's was, frightening. It, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They also have Sally too. You could dress up as Sally. Yeah, I think I'd rather be Sally. Yeah, me too. I think I know why the park is so um, slow, slow because everybody's in mouse gears. Oh yeah. There are a lot of people in there. <laughs> they really were. But I want to tell you guys something really cool that actually one of you guys pointed out to us. A few months back, I don't know if you guys remember, but we did a, a special tour where we got to actually like see the Purple Martins, their, their nests, which are these behind me here. And there's a few others behind Tim as well. It was really neat because what they use are like gourd shaped um, houses, bird houses basically. And so Disney started making these smart homes for them. So they have these um, sensors that track temperature, humidity, air pressure. They're also equipped with HD cameras and sensors that are linked to the cloud. 
Oh. So like, they're, they're I guess they're like the smallest smart homes. I don't uh, know which ones are the, the smart birdhouses though. I don't know if they're out here already. I don't know. They look the same. Like the picture that they show online looks similar, if not identical to these. I bet you the smart houses would have like Wi-Fi antenna on the top of them or something. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I thought it was really interesting. And one of you guys actually shared the article with us. So I wanted to share it with everyone because I thought it was cool. This pack of Purple Martin houses has this like plush shaped antenna device on the top that none of the other poles have. Ooh, maybe that's it. So maybe I'm thinking that this is it. Hmm, pretty cool. Before our dinner reservation, we wanted to run over here to Guardians of the Galaxy and show you guys not much progress going on. They took off all the reflective tile that used to be here on Energy Adventure. Now it's just kind of like uh, tar paper, it looks like. But there's also a galaxy wall here. This should be one of the walls. This should be an Instagram wall. Right? Yeah. Doesn't it kind of look like one? Here, like look down and fake laugh. Perfect. <laughs> Ooh, we got 10 minutes until our reservation. I didn't want to get there too early because I didn't want them to feed us early. Because yeah. I want to make sure that we see the fireworks. Yeah. So, I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but it's 7.50 now. I think that was a good choice. I think we're, we're planning this out pretty good, but we'll see. We'll feel like I don't have any basis for that, but I'm just like, I think we're gonna do good. Well, because we've never tried to catch the fireworks at a putt while eating dinner. Right. So this is like a new thing for us. I have a question for you guys out there, for like couples and stuff. Well, I guess for anybody really, but like, do you, like between the two of us, I have to look at the menu before we go somewhere because I need to know what I'm eating. Or I'll just be, sorry, that's test track. Or I'll just be super anxious the whole time. So, Tim is the opposite. He's like, whatever, I'll figure it out. Are you guys like that? You know? And, and which one are you? Oh my goodness, that is the test track fast pass line back there. Whoa! Ooh, Epcot, you brutiful. This is so nice. I wish that this had more like reflecty stuff next to the lake because this would be a really cool picture, except for all you see is the monorail beam. Yeah. Like, you know where you need to be where? is like maybe here or right now it's behind Scrim, but there's a walkway over there with this perfect reflective water during illuminations. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we should try that. Well, I mean, in oh, all we're honesty. Gonna be eating dinner. We just talked about this. We're gonna yeah. be eating dinner. But in all, in all honesty, like, there's a giant lake that Illuminations is over that is also reflective. Oh. <laughs> We're almost there. We took the long way around. Well, this is the shortcut. Is it? Yeah. But I did want to tell you guys, so I hurt my back the other day, and I, I know I talked about it in another video, but um, some of you guys were wondering how my back was doing, and it's a little bit better, and I have to tell you, these shoes that I'm wearing. Pause that thought. There is an Epcot bunny. I like how you got l extremely loud when you wanted to tell us about this bunny. Look how cute it is. I love that they just live here. Right? I like how Disneyland has cats, but we have bunnies. Yeah. Well, we I think we have cats too, probably. Oh, yeah. But really quick. Are those your shoes? This, these are my shoes, but these shoes are awesome. I don't know what kind they are. I know they're New Balance, but I don't know like the number or anything. But if you can find this shoe, it's great. And into the Mexico area. We're headed around the corner over here. Here it is. This is where we're going to. La Hacienda de San Angel. What are you going to get? I think I want to get the the cream corn. I think this is like a soup. I want to get the queso fundido. And I still don't know what I want to get of these things. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to get the New York strip. Are you? Yeah, why not? Mm. Go, oh, look, they've got these like blue lights in here. This is nice. It's a totally different vibe in here. We asked for terrible downlighting. <laughs> and we got it. We, got. We, um, we did ask for a fireworks view table, and he said that it could be up to an hour wait. So we'll see. I don't know, maybe that was a bad idea? Well, no, that's like perfect timing, right? Because it's 8 o'clock now, and fireworks start at 9. Yeah, but do you think that those people are going to get up at 9 when the fireworks start? Maybe they want to run outside to see the fireworks. Uh -huh. Never know. Yeah. They quoted us an hour wait and it was literally three minutes. So, yeah. So I was a little bit confused because I was like, we would like a fireworks view. And yeah. they're like, oh yeah, we'll put you in. I didn't realize the entire restaurant was a fireworks view. Well, I, I was, obviously I meant like the table next to the window, but what we got, it's still really good. Yeah. I know it's like super bright outside right now. But there it is, that'll be our view of the fireworks, which should be actually really nice because we'll be able to see all of them 
like a panoramic shot almost. Yeah. This will be nice. They gave us a, a drink menu. And they have some stuff from um, La Cava. Oh. Pina Coloca. <laughs> it looks pretty good. What's the difference? Oh, it has mint. Oh. Wow. They have wines, lots of tequila. You can do a tequila flight. And they have a fancy tequila flight, too. Oh. After dinner drinks and desserts. What's on the dessert menu? Ooh, this one sounds good. Nice, yeah. What are you going to do for dinner? I don't know. We've got it open. We already know that we're doing uh, the queso fundido and the cream corn. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, these are some more of the drinks here. Premium margaritas. Oh, this one's for two. Well, that's pretty neat. It's kind of like an everything meal. And they're gluten-free. There's a lot of stuff here that is gluten-free. Oh. So if you guys are looking for a gluten-free menu, definitely the place to go. And here's the vegetarian option. Uh, I don't think it's vegan. Oh, no, there's stuff... Two vegetarian options. Nice. This is this is kind of a wide range of food. I was just gonna say that it's kind of a small menu. Yeah, it is, but there's a lot to, like for a lot of different dietary requirements. You know what I mean? Are they singing happy birthday? having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out what we want to eat. There, I think there's, we both are like, we have two things that we want to get and we're trying to decide which thing. Yeah. I'm between the short rib and the New York strip. What are you between? I'm between the snapper and I think the braised beef. All I know is that if you get the braised beef, I want to try it. Yeah. I think, I think that's what I'm going to get. Well, don't get it because I want to try it. Get what you want. Okay. I'm going to get the braised beef. <laughs> okay. Happy, happy birthday. Also, they brought us out some chips and salsa, and he said that this one was what? That's the tomatillo, it's like a mild spice. And then I think that one's a little bit spicier, but I don't know what it is. But I think this is the same thing that you get at San Angel. Yeah, I can tell you that this one is going to be spicy because it's kind of that orange color rather than like a red color. Oh no, also, I wanted to tell you guys, our server, um, I swear I thought they said his name was Mario, and I thought that was amazing. Yeah. But his name is Mario. <laughs> Um, and he's great. Yeah. So if you, if you can ask for a server, ask for Mario. He like knows everything. Yeah, he knew the menu inside and out. Yeah. One of the things that our server mentioned is that they've had to change the menu a little bit to like accommodate people because they were making it a little bit too spicy. And when he brought this out, he's like, this is spicy. Uh, it's not that spicy. It's slightly spicy. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Well, that was, that was anticlimactic. It, it tasted like it was gonna be spicy. Like, I can taste it on the tip of my tongue, but it's not that spicy. Oh. It's just like a little, a little bit. This was interesting. It kind of all just <laughs> happened really fast. But I'll have to, okay, so this is the, um, the corn soup. I forget what it's called. It has an actual name, but it's the cream corn soup. And so underneath... And when it came out, there wasn't anything other than all of this stuff in the bowl. It had like some corn and some tortilla strips and something else. And then he poured the cream over it. Yeah. And then he must have heard us talking about how this stuff isn't spicy. And he's like, oh, here you go. Here's the spicy stuff. Oh, no. And Jen's like, do I put it in there? And he goes, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It's just for you to try. This is going to be a close-up shot of you eating corn soup. Was it good? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like really creamy. A little bit spicy. But then it's also sweet because it's sweet corn. Oh. Try this. It's good. This is having a hard time focusing in this light. G7X. I know. Do you like that it? Is really good. Yeah, I thought it was really, it's different though, because it's kind of sweet. Wow. Do you love it? Yeah. Have some more. I, that tasted like 
popcorn dessert appetizer. <laughs> it is kind of sweet, right? That was amazing. Uh-oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> is it your birthday too, sir? <laughs> it's my birthday. Uh, so the whole reason that he brought this out, this is the spicy stuff. This is the butter reduction that they took, like the, the snapper in the gen order. Oh, this is the sauce? And so he gave it to us to test it, so that if we wanted it on the side, we could tell him to put it on the side. Oh, okay. Is it really spicy? No. That's good though. It's like it's like a spicy butter. Oh, it's it's a it's a different kind of spice. It's the back of the tongue spice. It's kind of like a like a cayenne almost. Oh no! But it's not it's not cayenne pepper. It's serrano. But that's the kind of spice that it is. It's in, just in a different spot on your tongue. They also brought us out our queso fundido, and you get some tortillas and you just like put some. What's this? Those are like the green stuff. I don't know, but I need you to taste that. Oh, it's good tomatillo. Oh okay, like a like the tiniest. Is that too much? No, no, that's good. Creeps up on you, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I feel it. It's good though. Yeah. It's kind of like almost like a sour. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. Like sour a little bit. I like it. It's tangy. It really does creep up on you though, because it's about 30 seconds later, yeah, and it's hitting me. I can feel it in the back of my throat. <laughs> Mario came over and like plated our food for us. This is the queso fundido. He showed us how think, to like I mix think it up. Mario likes me more than he likes you. Oh, what the heck? Look, look at all at, that cheese. Look at all my cheese. And look at your little sad cheese. Oh. <laughs> but he showed us how to mix it up and how to like use the spoons to cut it and everything. He said, uh, you just gotta mix it up like this. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a fundido maker now. Yeah, I think you're, I think you've mixed the spoon too much. Oh no. And then he said to take your spoons and cut it like this. Yeah. There you go, I made your next one. Nice. I'm a fun Dito maker. Yeah, that was fun Dito. Ooh, the fires have started out there. All of the, what do they call those, like cauldrons or lanterns have been lit around the World Showcase Lagoon. We've got about 30 minutes before the fireworks start. Here is my short rib. I know it's kind of dark in here, so you guys can't really see it very well, but, oh, it's somebody else's birthday. <laughs> How about that? And then Jen got the snapper. It looks, uh, honestly, I'm so full. And I think this is cheese. I think it is. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Uh, and it also came with beans and rice. And you just kind of like serve it yourself. And I think this will be good. You guys ready? Boop. Yeah, you don't even need a knife. But this falls right apart. Do you have roasted zucchini? I don't think so. No. I don't think I do. <laughs> there are a lot of different flavors in here. The meat is so tender. There's kind of like a cinnamon flavor, a chimichurri flavor, maybe even a pumpkin flavor. You got this like <laughs> red sauce on the outside of the mashed potatoes. Well, they're pureed potatoes. Oh, there's a lot going on, but it is delicious. How's yours? Mine is really good. It is spicy. Is it? Yeah. Uh oh. There's like a spicy sauce in the corn, which is very delicious. Um, I don't know how to eat the cheese. Do I just cut a little piece and like eat it with the corn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's also, I think it's the same spicy sauce on the snapper, but the snapper is cooked perfectly. Nice. It is so good. Hey Jen, I don't know how to break it to you, but it's somebody's birthday. Honestly, they must hate this. Right? I kind of hate it. It's happened 10 times so far. We haven't been here that long. <laughs> uh, I don't like that at all. Oh no. It's, it tastes like, is that a cilantro taste? It tastes like cilantro to me. Yeah, but like a lot of cilantro. We like cilantro. A lot of people say that cilantro tastes like soap. Not us. It tastes like cilantro and it's good. That's just too much. I have a question for all of you guys that know more than we do. Are they going to play the music in here? Ooh, the fountain just turned on out there. I just want to hear the part where he goes, he goes. Yeah. Illumination. Reflections of Earth. <laughs> See the fountains on out there? That's a good sign. They do pipe in the music. He's doing your part. Oh, not yet. I don't remember. It's hard to hear him as well. Right now. Hello. Oh. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, I can't see anything. <laughs> Ooh, Whoa. This is intense. That was awesome. Yeah, this is amazing. Holy cow. 
There was a giant fire outside. Imagine having a seat down, way down there. I know. Like, we won't be able to see the high bursts, but we can see all the stuff that's down on the water. This is wow. neat. I went on this uh, tour, and at the end of the night, they used to have to burn off all of the fuel in the lines of the fire barge. Really? And now they have incorporated that huge explosion into the show finale. So at the end of the show, there's a giant fire burst, and that's them burning all of the fire or all the fuel out of the lines. You guys remember when we were, uh, the last time we were here at Epcot, I talked about the fireworks that float. You can kind of see them out there. There's a lot of fire. <laughs> like having this view, this vantage point, is making me really like illuminations even more. Yeah. I think I like how much our faces are being illuminated by That's just based on fire right there. Wow. Impressive. I love it. Do you guys see how there's like kids right there that are their faces are just pressed against the glass? Mine would be too. Yeah. Oh, there it is. They're 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 driving out the earth barge. Or the globe barge. One of the things that I learned on the tour that I took recently is that when they bring this barge out through the drawbridge, there is six inches of clearance on either side. They're lighting up all the different pavilions. This is really neat. It's a very comfortable way to watch illuminations. It's kind of fun hearing the kids react to the fireworks because they're like, wow! <laughs> Ooh. What song is this? I don't know. <laughs> you can see Magic Kingdom fireworks over there next to Space of Earth, yeah. And then if you see over here, there's smoke back behind uh, the Morocco pavilion. Or is that Italy? That might be Italy. One of the two, but the smoke behind that, that's the MGM or the Disney's Hollywood Studios fireworks. So there you have it. That was a trip to Epcot to try out La Hacienda mm -hmm. during the fireworks. Yep. Honestly, it was kind of delicious. I think that that is um, a good time if you're trying to catch the fireworks. I think 8 o'clock is a good reservation time. Yeah. I think it worked out perfectly. Yeah, because we were done with our dinner by the time the fireworks started. So we weren't like eating during the fireworks. Yeah, it was and good watch it and enjoy it. Yeah, and I wanted to tell you guys, the dinner, the full cost after tip and everything was $100 for the two of us. Oh. So, a little bit expensive. Yeah. Uh, but I think for that view, the food was good. Yeah. Not, not bad, not bad. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So, with that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Courtney. Hi, I'm Tish. Hi, I'm Patrick. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the price. price.